Japan is a country that is a lot different than other countries in that some of their culture can be vastly different. Customs in Japan are a lot different than other places, and what might seem outrageous and crazy to you is likely normal for them. And these people take their game show entertainment to a new level, with everything from how a hot girl should wake up to a game show that is like the movie Saw. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Now check out these 10 craziest Japanese game shows. Boiling Bath It's not exactly known how you play this game, but it involves people stripping down to their underwear and having to somehow cross a clear container, which is apparently filled with boiling water. The game seems to involve some challenges and probably has the most bizarre rules of any game, as when a contestant strips down to her underwear and tries to walk across the boiling bath's frame to get across it but two guys wearing red kimonos put an end to that and push the girl in. Things look a little bit scripted, and the position that the girls are put in is arguably what draws a lot of attention and viewers. Another part of the game shows two contestants who are arguing at the top of the stairs to the boiling bath, with the men ending up pushing the girl into the boiling bath. How rude, that's no way to treat a woman. But in Japan, weird game shows like this are very popular. AK Bingo this game show is a bit like dodgeball but with a bit of a twist. There is punishment for getting hit by the ball, not just getting hit by the ball itself. If you are hit by a ball, then you must do something that ends up being really grotesque, which is decided by a comedy duo whose job is to make things as interesting and shocking as possible. One of the punishments involves two girls trying to blow some creepy insect inside of a tube into each other's mouth. In this game, the loser would end up with the bug inside of her mouth. A Girl's Worst Nightmare and you can clearly see this as the game show host pulls away the lid to reveal a plate of deep-fried crickets. Despite the scary thing, the girls are brave and challenge each other on the show. Spread Your Legs The name of this game is sure to raise some eyebrows, but what it comes down to is a contestant facing a torture machine, or in this case a leg stretcher that martial artists use to stretch their leg muscles. The game involves three girls. One of these girls spins a wheel. One sits in the torture device and the other girl controls the machine. The number that the wheel lands on is how many clicks that machine will be manipulating. The girl needs to answer the questions right or the machine will spread her legs apart. It's a fun twist on a game where you must answer the questions or be tortured. How anyone wins the game is unclear. What's in the box? In this game show, there is a group of pretty young girls who have to put their hands inside of a box that has something placed inside and their goal is to figure out what it is. The girl who is putting her hands in the box faces the other girls who get to see what's in the box. If the girl can handle it and can figure out what she is feeling in the box and can tell the judges what it is, she wins. The fun thing about this game is that it can be something trivial in the box like a stuffed animal toy that moves or a slimy and creepy cold frog. The suspense of touching something when you can't see what's inside is really suspenseful and the reactions from the girls only mix with their imagination of what could be inside the box. The Bum Game This is a game which you will probably only find in Japan, and it's an interesting game which doesn't really involve any skill, and one wonders what kind of strategy you would need to come up with on this particular game show. This very strange and funny game involves girls placing their bottoms in a mold, which is the only thing contestants can see, and so therefore don't know the girl at all. The strange part about this game is that the objective for the players is to find out which rear end belongs to which girl. How they do this is even far more bizarre as a red team takes on a blue team and anything goes including touching and kissing the girls behind. Well, the funny thing is that sometimes the person can turn out to be a guy. It's also uncertain to as what the rules of this game are, but there probably aren't many. Waking up the hot girl Here's a really cute and fun game in which a bunch of cute girls dressed up in their pajamas pretend they're asleep on the floor on a cute little mattress. Judges then go around the room of attractive girls who are pretending to sleep and get to wake them up however they please. The way the person wins depends on how cute they are and how they wake up. If the girls aren't cute enough or don't impress the judges, they end up getting a pie to the face. And from the looks of things, the judges can be guys dressed up as a girl, which must be a weird rule of the game. It's an interesting game and in the USA probably wouldn't last a week. But once again, it's Japan, it's very popular and it is an interesting concept. And who doesn't love to see a bunch of different ways a pretty girl might wake up in the morning? 
Let's go to the end of the world. This is an interesting game show in which contestants really do get to travel the world. However, they have to endure some pretty strange things along the way. Most of the time, the contestants must do different things that would be included in a worldwide adventure, such as coming face to face with a dangerous and wild animal. In one part of the show, the player is put inside of a plexiglass enclosure called the Predator Box, and then an angry grizzly bear is released who taunts the terrified human inside of the plexiglass cube. That thing is unbreakable, right? And by the way, the contestant inside is required to film the event as it happens, and the reactions can be pretty amusing. Gaki no Sukai It's a bit hard to figure out what is going on in this game show, but it involves a room of guys dressed as businessmen and a group of other people who are reading a script. When the people in the group reading the script run into a problem pronouncing a word, a group of masked bandits run into the separate room where the business-dressed guys are and apply a beating to their behinds with a blackjack-looking weapon. The humor in the show comes from the way the contestants are trying to say incredibly difficult American English words, and in this case, the state Massachusetts, which for a foreigner would be incredibly hard to pronounce. The humor in the game is contagious and makes for an incredibly fun game show. Human Tetris This show has actually been around for a little while and is actually very entertaining despite the idea. Contestants stand in front of a machine that pushes large styrofoam pieces towards them, in which they must find a way to get through without damaging the giant styrofoam puzzle piece. Some of the designs that are cut into the styrofoam are hilarious on their own without the comedy of how the contestant or contestants are going to get through it. Tore Here is an interesting twist on a game show, literally. Contestants on this show are put in a machine that the ancient Egyptians would have truly been jealous of. The machine has two spools of material which it spins around you and wraps you up like a mummy. The fun begins when a one-minute timer starts and you have to answer a series of questions and get them right to stop the machine from wrapping you up. A talking Egyptian mummy headdress animated character appears on the screen in front of the contestant and they must answer seven questions correctly before becoming completely mummified. The funny thing is when the machine gets to the head and completely wraps the player head to toe in mummy material. In the end, an Egyptian sarcophagus encloses the contestant, making it their end on the show. Dero Dero If you've ever wondered if a game show designed from the movie Saw were possible, well, it looks like Jigsaw found the new game. The game show Dero Dero puts contestants in different rooms and they are forced to solve puzzles or answer questions. At times, there is a freaky-looking guy with a paper bag over his head who appears and gives the contestant clues along the way. Each room has different challenges and the contestants need to figure them out quickly. One room leaves the players trapped in a room that is quickly filling with water, and they must figure out how to stop the water or get out of the room. Another room has a retractable ledge in which players must jump on a plank or fall to their doom. Well, probably a safety net. Then the planks start to retract and the contestants standing on them must answer a series of questions to stop the plank from retracting. Everything looks dangerous in this game show, and the falls from the planks look like a bottomless pit but that is what keeps it popular. There is also quite a bit of humor between the bag-faced character and the players. The show keeps everyone in continuous high-stress situations, which also keeps the audience on edge. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which one of these was your favorite. And don't forget that if you want to be the first to know when we release a new video, make sure to click subscribe and enable notifications. We appreciate you and want to thank you for watching.